All right, we have the lovely stinking sewers. My favorite. God, this game looks good. Gotta love dynamic lighting. Also, I'd like to point out something here, and that's that this game has better movement, or sorry, this mod has better movement than all of the three Thief games. Okay? I remember Thief 1 and 2, how I'd get stuck trying to get into like a small window or something, and I'd end up jumping like a thousand times just to get in it, to grapple onto it, or grapple into it. Not a problem here. Remember how in the uh, original Thieves, I can't remember about Deadly Shadows, but in the original Thieves, Remember how you crouch, and if you jump, you'd then be out of crouch? Not so in this game. You can crouch, jump, and it's a crouch jump, and you go back to crouching. Amazing, isn't it? So you can hippity hoppity like a little fucking bunny, and you're perfectly fine. Very, very nice. Uh, one thing I still need to test, I'll test it right now, is if I'm crouched and I grapple, do I go back to crouching? You do, look at that. Actually, I don't even know if I ever left crouching. So you can crouch and jump and stay crouched. You can crouch and grapple and stay crouched. You can climb into small windows and stuff with ease. It already has a far better control scheme than all of the thieves. Ooh. I see a secret glowing green passage down there, my favorite. Far better than the secret glowing red passages, which always lead to death. But very different from the glowing green, red, and blue passages, which always lead to rave parties. Those are very fun. No one knows why they take place in the sewers. It's very strange. Alright, well, I want to check that out, but I want to know what's here. Jesus, that's loud. Yeah, this, uh... This mod has... Too much of a dynamic range. Dynamic range is good to a degree. This has gone over that degree. Alright, so it's a big obstacle course. Let's go back and check this out. What the heck is this? Uh, okay, apparently this whole thing is a ladder. Whoa. Um, let's keep climbing and get up now. I don't like the sound of that. Okay. Now, where am I? Look at that. Dynamically generated mushroom light. I mean shadow. Actually, that is actually that is actually a mushroom light and a mushroom shadow. Actually, how my voice is going. Come on, voice, you can do it. You can last through the tears of Saint. The Tears of St. Lucia. Uh, my ears won't make it, though, because now they've just been wrecked by that sharp, grinding noise. Well, I don't think I'm likely to find anyone down here. So I probably don't need to be too stealthy. Ooh, ooh. That's a shit ton of jewels. What are these? Arrows. And, wait, is that... Oh, that's a fucking hand. Well, someone died. And this is a maze.
Alright, sounds like there's a, a rainforest on this side of that other side of that grating, so I think I'll go the other way. Four words it is. Onwards and upwards. Up and at him. Um. That's not dirt. That's That's definitely blood. Why is there blood in this cramped hallway that I'm walking through? the hell is that noise? Please tell me that's ambient music. Okay, I think that's ambient music. Hold on, I want to know what's down here. Wait a minute, uh... I just remembered something. Didn't it say, like, hold down and crouch to quietly slide down a ladder? Whoa! Uh... What? I didn't quietly slide down it, I fell off it. Um... Okay. I think I'll just crawl down it like a normal person. How about that? Alright, what's down here? Is this just the end of that maze? Jesus, that's loud! Can I... Ambient volume... I could, down, I could turn down sound effects volume, but the problem is if I do that... It's gonna turn down everything. Yeah, listen how loud that is. It's way louder than it should be. Hmm. Does that lead to the church? Am I inside of it? Like, engine room? Maybe. No, oh, I see it's the return of these bizarre machinery things. Alright. Where is this? Brother Samuel, I did send several acolytes into the streets yestermorn to post more bulletins advertising the miracle of St. Lucia. Brother Brevius did come back with the smell of alcohol about him. He doth claim that a drunken man did vomit upon him, but I am certain that he partook himself and did thus break his vows. I have ordered him to clean the walls beneath the privy to prepare for the arch archbishop's visit. Twill do him good to smell of honest work for a change. Brother Abadius must be reminded to tell the other acolytes to use the privies in the meantime, to use the other privies in the meantime, and to remember to remove and clean the f the latter when Brother Brevius doth finish. Well, he's on shit duty. That sucks. In fact, you could say it's shitty. Ha! Ugh, uh, God. Alright, this is a maze, so fuck this place, I'm going back. Wait, where did I come from? It was, where, where did I come from? Oh god. Okay, don't run, don't run in water. Very, very loud. May cause dizziness and hearing damage. Okay. Yeah, look at this. If you were in the original Two Thieves, you know what this would be? I would go up to this and I'd be going... Uh, 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 uh. And it would take like five fucking minutes and then I'd finally get in. But do you know how it works in this mod? Walk up to it, hold down space... 
and you go in. So much better. There's that wonderful ambient track that sounds like a gigantic one million pound twenty foot monster growling at me. Oh, shit. Hi. That's what was causing that noise. You creepy, massive fucking spider. Those look far more terrifying than they ever have in the original games. And I have three arrows. Oh, that's right, I found a couple. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it. I do not want to attack that with melee. No thanks. Is that... That... That's a spine. I am in a basement with massive spiders... and a spine. And a another spine, okay. That's cool. And a leg. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Hold on, I think I can put them back together. Just a second. Get out of the way. God, it sounds like it's breaking. Come on, hold on. You can break after I'm done with you. Ah, come on. I can do this. I can do this. If I can steal stuff, I can do this. Okay, good enough. Get out of the way. Alright, I'll take this one. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Okay, I don't know much about anatomy. But I'm pretty sure this roughly goes... There. Nope. Okay, good enough. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good approximation of a human body. Oh, I thought that was just like a wood plate. It's actually worth something. I'm glad I clicked on it. Alright, that's all this down here. See, this is what I really like about the Thief games. Is little stuff like this, where you're just doing your job and... You know, you're in like the underbelly of the place. You're going into the places that no one typically sees. Like you're going through a mansion or whatever, or a church in this case. And most people just walk around the normal floor. You know, inside of the church. They walk on the pathways outside, but most people don't see the little weird pathways. Like the sewers and the secret tunnels and stuff like that. Most people don't see that, but as a thief in the Thief games, you get to go to those places and you get to see all these little, essentially mini stories, like that place in there with that spider, that was a mini story. That was a place, there was blood, there were spines and stuff, so that spider has been killing people and it has a nest in there. That's a small little story that uh, 
that hand that I saw poking out of some rubble? That's another story. There was someone down here, and they died in a collapse. All right, let's go into this place proper. Gotta remember not to sprint or my ears will bleed. Oh my god, my voice is disappearing. Can I really not pick up that hammer? That is very strange. I picked up that exact hammer in the tutorial, and yet for some reason, now I can't pick it up. Alright. Holy shit. Look at that bump mapping. Ow. Reminds me of Stalker. I remember there were some times in Stalker where you'd have an extreme, like a, a light source like that at an extreme angle to something rough like stone, and you'd see, you'd see stone that kind of looks like this. Kind of make your eyes bleed. Either this is a really small door, or I'm very tall. Because my head is, like, scraping the ceiling. Do the limbo! Ah, this is the privy. I think, I think this is where people shit and piss. Down these. And I'm standing in it. Ew. Oh god, I sprinted. Sorry. Ooh, I heard someone. God, this is so good looking. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Those beautiful textures. Well, okay, if you look at them up close, they don't look all that beautiful, but from normal distance, they do. Okay, please don't fall. Okay, oh, shit. Tile floor, be careful. That is a big-ass bathtub. Ooh, can you do a listen-in thing if you lean into the door? You can! Oh my god, I'm in love. <laughs> they didn't even have that in the tutorial, but they have it. What the? Oh shit! Uh. <laughs> um. I think he wants inside. Hold on. Is something there? Hello? Who art thou? N nothing. I think it worked. He's not like running to get a guard, is he? I would do well to calm my nerves. Perhaps I shall see him at evening vespers. What do you? 
I felt that didn't work. <clears throat> that worked. How did he not see me? All right, well, okay. That was some very strange AI behavior. I don't know what he was doing. Key to priest's room. Excellent. You know what I'm going to do with you. You are going to take a bath. There you go. Here, I'll even give you a bucket to wash yourself with. Get your feet in there. Come on. See? Perfect. See, this this tells another story. Right? This priest was walking in here and he was... What the hell's going on out there? Okay, anyway. This priest was walking in here... And he was holding a bucket of water on his head, carrying it, trying to balance it, balanced precariously on his head, weighing a lot. It's a big bucket, and water's heavy. It probably weighed a good 20 pounds or so, maybe even more. He was walking in here, and of course, being a bathroom, there was a puddle of water. He slipped on that puddle of water and fell into the bathtub and was knocked unconscious. And that is the priest's story. Alright, what the hell's going on out here? Just gonna go ahead and close that. So no one gets in here. Or at least if they do get in here, they won't... Uh, I, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Anyway. A note from Brother... S Looks like the text is kind of cut off on the right side of the screen. Brother Simon... To the most revered Father Father Bernard, a few of the acolytes have been casting dice in the back of the nave again. One was even overheard swearing by Fortuna, a pagan goddess. If something must be done. I recommend putting each one in the screws. Three or four turns should remind them of their vows. In the screws. I'm not exactly sure what in the screws means, but I'm thinking Theon Greyjoy. I'm definitely thinking Theon Greyjoy. Ooh, that looks like it's worth something. And of course, a pile of money. Spare key to the priest's room. What the fu- It sounded like I was just playing the drums. I thought this was something I could loot. Yeah, you play that funky jam. Hopefully no one heard that. Okay, what does this do? Ooh, holy shit. This looks expensive. Ooh. Is this lock pickable? Ooh, it is. Okay, um, now I get to demonstrate the lock picking system, which is... It's interesting. I don't think it's great, but I don't think it's bad either. It's definitely different. Um, I wish it had more interactivity, 
So here's how it works. You have the same two lockpicks as in the original Thieves, and only one will work. And some locks have multiple numbers of, I guess, pins or whatever that you need to get through. So you might have one that only needs one lockpick. So you just use whichever one works, and then that's good. You might have one that has two lockpicks. So you use whichever one that works, and then you use whatever next one that works, and so on. And to uh, solve the pin or whatever, you know, to progress on the lock, what you have to do is basically listen for the pattern. And it just, it plays one repeating pattern over and over again, and there's a brief moment in between the end and the beginning. And you need to release the lockpick key in that moment of silence. So you need to memorize the pattern, figure out exactly when it's going to end, and then release the mouse. Uh, release the mouse key in that period of silence. So, so that's the wrong one. That's the right one. If you listen, you'll hear it repeat. So I need to do it in the period of silence. So let's do that now. There we go. Okay, so I think I progressed through the first one. So now I need the second. Uh, needs the other lockpick. Here we go. Okay, got the second one. Okay, and we got it. So yeah, it's neat. I just... Uh, I, I kind of wish there was more interactivity because there's just a lot of listening and waiting and I kind of like I kind of like the more hands-on uh, where you're constantly moving and constantly seeing the pins of like thief deadly shadows yeah I actually think I like that system more but this one's pretty cool don't get me wrong hmm I'm in the awkward position of not being able to really get the loot here we go nope open that wait that was the relic that was the relic Okay. The only thing left is to find a way to damage the statue of St. Lucia. Holy shit, this is some wealthy stuff. Hold on, need that. Uh, uh, there it is. Here we go. He'll never know anything has changed. Just like new. Or just like old, I guess, but I don't know. Alright, so if I'm in the priest's room... Oh, there's a priest's room all the way on the left top. Top left. So I'm in the living quarters now, right? I am uh, V... Yep, I'm looking north. So this is the hallway to the living quarters, I guess. The previous to the left... Um, and the statue is all the way east. Alright, so what is this? This is another room, unmarked. Hold on, need a key. Fumbling with the controls, where's the key? Key to priest's room. No. No. Okay, maybe I can lockpick it. Here we go. Okay. There was just one pin, thankfully. Hmm. Something tells me there's something hiding beneath my hat. Because hats don't normally have... golden-colored... stuff. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go... Bingo! Hello! Hold on, let's... let's liven this place up a bit. There we go. That is just so cool. I can't get over how cool that is. Actually, this place is overlit now. Hold on, let me move it here. Let's put the candle on the bed. Okay. Oh, 
Ooh, that armor looks like it would be worth something. Uh, apparently it's not. Who's out there? These drafts keep snuffing out the light. Uh. Let's follow. Oh, shit. Oh, God, there's a lot of people there. Okay, goodbye. It's no longer seems safe. Let me put this out. Actually, I, I can't. Never mind, I can't put that out. Alright. Can I steal this painting? No, I can't. Acquired the... what? The Heavenly Realm? Alright, I'm gonna read that in a second. Of course, a hammer. Fucking hammerites. They're goddamn hammers. Here, let me see if I can do this. And for my next act, I'll shove this candle up my ass. Okay. So I've got a book to read and this to read. What is... Oh, yeah. Cathedral Guards Journal. <clears throat> it should thus come as no surprise that many of the acolytes that hath been assigned here are uneducated, crass, and poorly motivated. They spit, they speak in the vulgar tongue, and they gamble when Reverend Bernard doth sleep. Most indeed, do loveth the Master Builder most sincerely, but they need a great deal of direction in serving him. September 25th, Reverend Bernard doth keep the relic in his private chambers. I didst offer to protect myself, to protect, to protect it myself, but the Reverend doth insist that it is well hidden. Not well hidden enough. September 27th, must attend... Brother Matthew, who doth oversee the maintenance work, <clears throat> who doth oversee the maintenance work, he reports an outside worker did injure himself while man handling a hammer from the wall for cleansing, and his partner canst not push it along on his own. These unbelievers are most feeble. When I was but an acolyte, I did such work without serious complaint. Those big hammers are weighty, yes, but a good sustained push and much faith in his goodness is all it takes to do his will. Alright, where's the other thing? Heavenly Realm. Excuse me, let me take a drink of water before my voice totally destroys itself. <clears throat> the Heavenly City of the Master Builder is my grand theme in this work. It is a city surpassing glorious. Perfect in its stability, humbling in its excellence. The city has twelve gates made of twelve pearls. Every gate is of a single pearl, and the street of the city is pure gold, as clear as glass. Nothing yet built in all the cities of the earth can compare. The king and the founder of this heavenly city has in scripture uttered a dictum of the divine law in these words. God abandons the slothful, but gives grace unto the builders. Those who build shall become the tools of the master, the citizens of this city of God, which has no end, when the works of this world fall away. All shall stand before him, and by thy words... And by thy works shall ye be judged. Alright. Yeah, the AI seems to be very funky so far. I can hear them just going around in circles out there. I guess the dining room is probably next. Which is, uh... Which is down and then to the left. Alright, but I want to know what's in here. Never mind, there's nothing. Alright, I'm just I have plenty of water arrows, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. That makes me feel a lot better. Where art thou? There art thou. Oh. 
Perfect. Actually, do you have anything on you? Nope. Good night. Well, that guy can fit a lot of stuff in his ass. My god. I think he's in the wrong line of work. <laughs> it's very disturbing, but I like it. Uh, the fact that taking out the map doesn't stop time. I shall not light these any longer. <laughs> he keeps closing the door because it keeps opening. What's opening this door? It's not me. Okay, now he's coming back. <laughs> Let me just take that key. Guard's bedroom key. Alright. Let's see if I can get my first man pile going on in this game. As I have done. It is a tradition. Man piles. Fish people piles. All the different piles I've made and all the three thieves. Come on. Yeah, I think that qualifies as a man pile. Good enough. Alright, whoops. Do not hold down M. Note to everyone who wants to not have a seizure. Holding down M causes that. Wait a minute, where am I? I just went pop-up. Uh, v, there we go. South. So to the left. This will lead me to the dining room if I go left and then right. If I go straight, I'll hit the kitchen. Let's go straight. What is downstairs? Down to crypt. Huh. I bet there's valuable stuff down there. And probably ghosts and demons, as is usual. Great, I get to do the Walk of Judgment across creepy stone statues that don't even have a face. <laughs> Note to self, don't hold down any button in this game. Hold down G. Seizure. Hold down M. Seizure. I'm not sure if that's actually even going to show up for you, because I'm recording at 60... I'm recording 30 FPS, but the game's running at 60 FPS. So I'm not sure if it's going to flash in the same way it does for you as it does for me. But yeah, if, if it's not flashing for you, it's flashing like crazy for me. Well, it looks like I wasn't wrong about uh, there being loot down here. Hello. I'm just worried about what might be down here other than the loot. So, oh, hello, guard. Let's go ahead and put these out. My god, look at all of this loot. It's not worth all... <clears throat> it's not worth all that much, but still, there's a lot of it. Ooh, thought you could get away from me, did you? What the... Oh, I'm on a ladder. What's up here? Nothing. Okay, hold on. Press control to go down silently, right? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Hold control. I don't know. I forgot the tip. But I didn't forget the shaft. <laughs> uh, uh. What is that? 
Oh, that's a part of a skull. Wonderful. What is that? There's a necklace under the skull. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, objective? Whoa. Oh, it's the loot. Right, I hit 1500. All right. Well, I could beat you over the head, but why? The thing is, though, I do need a way to destroy this statue, so how am I going to do that? I might need to find something in the world. Can I get behind him? I think I can. Let me save it. Can I fit under this? Yes, I can. Okay. Fire and forge. I will gladly Whoops. slay thee. Okay, never mind. I touched him. Let me hit him from here. <coughs> Actually, hold on. I want to try something. Is there an item I can pick up? I want to see how they respond to distractions. I need to pick up something. Is there something I can pick up? Like, I know, I know a noisemaker arrow will make them take out their sword as if, you know, there's an enemy, which puts them on high alert, but I'm thinking, what if I just, like, drop a box or something? Will that put them on high alert, too? I can't pick up a skull. I have nothing to pick up. Ooh, wow. Hello. Alright, I, I guess I'll just test it on the next guard. In the meantime... <gasps> Perfect. What can I do with you? Hmm. Hmm. Why don't you go to sleep right here? Or not. Damn it. There's absolutely nothing I can think of to do with him in here. That's funny. I wish I could manipulate the bodies a bit more. Looks like there's a service elevator of some sort. Oh, not getting up there. Alright, that's the end of this place. Da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. Okay, that was down to the crypt, so if I go forwards, I'll hit the kitchen. Let's do that. Any special bottles? Is that one? Yes, it is. I saw the golden tip. That's not gold. It's apparently just yellow. That one gold? That one's gold. Looks like the cook is not home. That, I've, I have no fucking clue what that says. Alright. Hopefully this one isn't in cursive. It is, but it's a recipe. For something. 20 something of 10... I, I don't know. Whatever. Oh. I know what this book could use. A good soaking. I just realized something really funny.
In the original Two Thieves, every time you saw a sink full of water, the water always, like, it had the same rolling, moving water texture that you saw in, like, the river and the sewers and whatnot. Like, it looked like it was the Grand freaking Rapids going at, like, 20 miles per hour or something, the current. Even though it's in a sink and there's nothing moving. It's not quite as extreme, but it's still ridiculously over... There's still there's still way too much movement, even in this total conversion. I mean, that shouldn't be moving at all. It's it's a sink. There's no current. It's good to see some things haven't changed. I wonder, I wonder if that's actually just you know like just poorly designed water, or I wonder if that's actually a reference to the original thieves, like a callback, you know? Neither would really surprise me. the heck is up there? Ooh, this looks delicious. Hold on, let me chop some of these carrots for a nice stew. Hold on, oh, hold on, I, I'm not very good with my fingers. Uh, uh, no. Come on. Oh, ooh. There we go. Chop, 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 chop. Chop. Holy shit, this is actually a really good knife. Who made this knife? Hold on. Let me... Who... What's the brand? Is this... Uh... Oh, fuck, my face! Ah, oh, shit. Well, I'm not gonna win any beauty contests now. I really do want to know who made this knife, though. Was it... Like, I'm looking for a new knife set. Am I just getting really dull? Is it... Uh... Ah, fuck! Oh. There goes my nose. I really do want to... Oh, fuck it. Whoa. Did... Did it just eject me? Why did I just fly across the room? Yeah, it looks like it's not loaded. That is a void! And boom. Sounds like someone's trying out one of those soundscape presets on their MIDI keyboard, and they're using the lowest pitched key. <laughs> Holy shit, this looks expensive. D Are those seriously jewels for eyes in that painting? Well... All right, that leads out. That... I can't get back up. So let's go out into the main room, which actually is where? Where is that? The pulpit, I'm assuming? I'm assuming that's the pulpit. I don't think there's any graceful way to get out of here. What's across there? Oh, wow. Okay, that actually worked. Wow, okay. And, of course, the very last one doesn't work. Yeah, the grappling in this game is actually surprisingly forgiving.
Just yoink, yoink. Something I'm really curious about is the fact that you don't really have a campaign, you just have separate missions for this total conversion. So, what does the money actually do? Is it purely just to complete the objective, or is it somehow used for something in later missions? I'm guessing it's just to complete the objective, because it wouldn't make any sense for it to carry over into the later missions that aren't related to the previous ones at all. Is that Visitation Records Extracts? To the Reverend Bernard of St. Roderick's, with great hope and faith for thy future prosperity. I am sending you a copy of excerpts from the Visitation Records filed by His Eminence during his inspection of the diocese in 1625, which you may find interesting. Mayhaps it will help you should he choose to visit your parish. I will send on other writings when I can find the time. Yours in the faith, John. Hmm. January 25th, we visited St. Catherine, where there were 30 monks. K what the fuck is that? Say? Kel Botch? What? And another monk, who are now in prison, sing dis dissolute songs. We ordered that they be corrected by cutting off their food and subjecting them to flagellation. We decreed that the monastery should bring the number of its monks up to the statutory number. October 3rd, we visited a chapel at uh, Les Andalies. Master, Master Robert is a drunkard. Dom Peter, the sacristan, is also a toper. And quarrelsome withal. Some of this is surprisingly hard to read for some reason. Dom Miles is too hasty of temper. The chapel displays a most unfitting statue of St. Lucia, the head having been damaged by workmen. July 23rd, we visited the Priory at St. Obig, where there are 15 nuns. We took the veil away from Alice of Rowan and from Eustatia of Etrepagny because of their fornications. We gave Agnes of Pont the hot irons and sent her to a workhouse because she had conceived, uh, con connived at Eustatia's fornication and indeed had even arranged it, as rumor goes. Furthermore, she gave the said Eustatia some herbs to drink in order to kill the child already conceived within the said Eustatia. We removed the prioress from her office. Those are a lot of words I'm not familiar with. I didn't really comprehend much of any of that. Acquired History of the Inquisition. Oh my god, I don't know if I can read anymore. How big is this? Alright, it's not bad. My voice. I'm gonna stop after this mission. And I kind of hope it ends soon, even though I love it. I just... because of my voice. I don't want to keep talking. The crime of heresy requires a deliberate denial of an article of truth of the Imperial Church and a public obstinate persistence in that alleged error. Once it was left to mobs of townspeople to accost and punish heretics without trial or ecclesiastical insight, the repression of heresy too important to remain so disorganized, Patriarch Gregory the Ninth instituted the Papal Inquisition in 2031 to bring order and legality to the process of dealing with heresy. At first it was common for the Inquisition to turn heretics over to civil authorities after a finding of guilt. The secular authorities would apply their own standards of punishment for civil disobedience. However, patriarchs uh, established the right of ecclesiastical courts to execute heretics, and since then, those convicts of heresy are punished by the Inquisition. The Holy Office of the Inquisition is most active in the southern st states of the Empire, where they have had many successes in protecting the imperial faith from infection. All acolytes should familiarize themselves with the successful eradication of the Eb Ebionite heresy. Today, their tribunals wield considerable authority. No matter how determined, no patriarch has succeeded in establishing complete, con complete control of the institution. Damn it. Okay, separate rooms at separate sides. I think I'm just east of the dining hall. If that's true, then going east 
She deleted the pulpit. East is... Here? What? Wait, what? North and south. Where... I'm confused. There's only two... Oh, whatever. I'll just go through a door and figure out where I am. Okay, where the hell am I? Ooh, health potion. Actually, I should probably take that. Good, it heals over time. That's good. They changed that in Thief Deadly Shadows and they turned it into an instant heal, which I thought was kind of lame. I don't hear any guards. Oh, hi. The anticipation. Are you... Why does he have, like, a steel chain on and, like, a huge steel neck thing? That's gotta weigh, like, 50 fucking pounds. Hopefully this hits his... <laughs> Hopefully this, is, this hits his head and he's not wearing, like, a helmet. Oh. Nope, it worked. Oh, fuck, I do not want to read this. Oh, God, I don't... I, I'm sorry, I like reading normally, I just don't want to talk. Whoops. Oh, whoops. There we go. What is that? Germanic tribes. I'm not sure if that's a V or a U. It's either Gavlic tribes or Gallic tribes. Western Empire, Bridgeport, to Manoa, hmm, map of some sort. The Ligurian Sea, Manoa, a map of the Western Empire. Alright, let me see how long this is. Confessional Records. Ah, mm. oh, fuck it, I'll just read it. Jacob did confess to gambling and was given the or... They, they keep using all these different fonts for all this different text, and some of it's easy to read, some of it's impossible, and some of it's kind of difficult. This is a kind of difficult one, it's a little bit weird. And was given the ordeal of St. Sebastian's Walk in order to cleanse himself of the sin, the Lord Builder was not with him in his ordeal, for after taking two steps on the metal floor, he did stumble and fall onto its heat, burning himself horribly. The medics did attend to him, but he later died from his burns. It was decided that he did fulfill the ordeal, though he did crawl upon his knees the rest of the way, and he was given the last rites before being buried in consecrated, consecrated ground. Four men of good character did confess to their priest that they had been drunken and boastful in the streets since their last confession. Their confessions sincere and the act of... What the fuck is that? Contrition? That's a really weird font. Recited the priest did give them the minor penance of a day's hard work, carrying coal for the church's forge. One of the four did give coin in lieu of service. All were observed, absolved of their sins. Joseph did enter into the Sacrament of Confession and admitted to seeking the service of a sorcerer and paying money to him for a curse against a business rival. The curse was successful and Joseph profited greatly. The priest of the parish gave him the ordeal of St. Uh, Hammer to Pen... Okay. The Pagan Problem The Pagan Problem by Bernard of Clairvaux 
What is there in that pagan people which is not crude and coarse? Whether we consider their actions, their, inclina their inclinations, their understanding, or even the rites with which they worship their false gods. For their actions did carry them of old into many wars. Their inclinations are all devoted to the pursuit of sloth. Their, their worship doth consist in painting their skin and shedding the blood of beasts. Oh, how much worse is the barbarian within the walls than those of the wild. The last are only useless, but those inside our walls come to, a hurtful, come to be hurtful and poisonous. O oh, nature not merely crude, but touched with viperous venom, to hate the work that not only strengthens the bodies of men, but saves their souls. O oh, intelligence, coarse, dense, and as it were, bovine, which doth not recognize God even in his own works. What? Okay. Of course, the Hammerites are blathering on about total nonsense, as always. Hammerites. Hammerites never change. Well, that didn't work. Mm-hmm. Da do 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 Right, so I still don't know where I am. That's north. I'm going north. Okay, now I yeah, now I believe east will take me to the pulpit. I think. Yeah, East will take me to the pulpit. Is there anyone... I think there's people in there. I love the way that spray of water just mists down. It's really cool. Where are you going? Uh, oh, seriously? Really? I totally hit him before he before he saw me. That is really disturbing. That is really disturbing. It's it's so well done that it's really disturbing. Just the the way they just fall dead and flop and the sound. Uh, <coughs> well, déjà vu. There are a lot of lights here. Okay, hold on. Let me wait for him to come back. Yeah. I need to be more patient. Book of Lessons. And the prophet Amos did walk in the mountains for 40 days. Oh, of course, it's one of these crazy, batshit, insane religious stories where, for some reason, they have an over-fascination with specific numbers of stuff. He did walk in the mountains for 40 days, and his disciples, what, do you have 20 disciples or something? Come on, tell me a number. You, you fetishize numbers, tell me. And his disciples with him. Uh, and the dis... Oh, he's coming back. All right, there we go.
Um, that's not what I meant to do. But I'll accept that. Alright, I think I've got free reign of the place. I'm in the pulpit, statue of St. Lucia is right over here. It's probably stuff to steal, but I've got plenty of loot. Ooh, what is that? Oh, can't read it. Is this place under construction? Keep all the doors that lead to the statue locked and under tight security. No unauthorized people are to enter under punishment of death by order of Reverend Bernard. Hmm. Alright, tight security. I just love the dynamic lighting in this game. <laughs> I mean, Thief Deadly Shadows had dynamic lighting, but this... This is like to a whole new degree. There's just more. More dynamicness. More sources of light. Oh look, it's like the statue is offering its hand to support my stealing endeavors. Thank you. I will use your hands to steal from you. Huh. He's a key. No, 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 no. Hmm. Ooh. Uh, excuse me, but the neck of your instrument appears to be broken. You might want to get that fixed. I'm just kidding. That's a... That's a loot, isn't it? I think that's a loot. They're supposed to look like that. Wait a minute, do I need a key to get in anywhere? Oh no, here we go. Would have preferred to enter from above, but I sub I suppose this will work. Where would that key be? Where would that key be? Nah, I don't know. Who cares? I'll make do. You're gonna turn around at some point, right? I see keys. I see floating money. Who has taken it? Oh shit, he spotted something. Thou canst not hide forever. Okay, note to self in the future. Do not steal stuff before taking out the guards. I would notice that stuff has been stolen. Whoops, my bad. That's alright, it's my first mission. It's been a while since I played Thief, and I've never played this mod before, so... It's a learning experience. It's my first mission. Thou canst not escape the Lord's sight. 
Cool, it's a good thing that you're not a lord. Yeah, fucking peasant. You know, just a pro tip. You're probably not going to find me in the wall. Might want to look somewhere else. Just a tip. Just a tip, because I don't think you can handle the full shaft. I shall not light these any longer. So, how was your day? Shall not light these any longer. These drafts keep snuffing out the light. Yeah, it's been pretty drafty. Can take care of that. I think I need a new jacket. It's been kind of cold. Oh shit, they actually relight stuff. Wow. I. Well. Alright, looks like. I wonder how the AI works exactly. See under high alert now? Where the hell are you going? Who's creeping around over there? What the fuck are you doing? The scoundrel has escaped for now. Okay, that takes care of that. Yoink and yoink. Like a sack of potatoes. Alright, what's up here? Nothing. Wait, is this the statue? Well, this is the statue, isn't it? I think, yeah. Alright. So. Damage the statue so it looks like an accident. Alright, I see lots of construction stuff. So I'm guessing I need to break it somehow. Yeah, this whole thing looks like a construction site, so that's gonna work in my favor. I close that. Let me steal the rest of this stuff. What the fuck is that? Was someone run over a dog and then put it in a parcel and then drag it in here? Ew. Warning! Don't let anyone near the base of the scaffold. That hammer weighs as much as a horse. If anything were to knock it off the edge, it would crush a man like an egg. That hammer... A hammer. Which one are they talking about? This one? Or is there another one? Alright, what's up here? Oh, that one. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Here we go. Jesus, that was loud. Fucking hell. Great, now I'm deaf. Thank you, game. Dynamic range. It's a good thing. 
to a certain degree. You've gone over that degree. Get back to where you started to leave the area. Okay. Um, what if I leave by the main entrance? Hold on. I want to see where this goes. Oh yeah, that's going to leave me right there. Wait, did I leave this guard alive? No, I think I shot him in the face, didn't I? Yeah, I think I shot him all in the face. <laughs> so I'm just going to run back to the beginning. And note, throughout that entire level, there was never, there was never one loading screen. Yeah. You hear that sound? That's the silent sound of me giving the middle finger to Thief Deadly Shadows for all the fucking loading screens. That's what happens when you try to fit it onto the Xbox. The first Xbox, which... Well, the Xbox 360 has 512 megabytes of memory. 512. That's the Xbox 360. I don't know what the Xbox original has. But it's definitely less than that. No more than 250 megabytes, I'm sure. Maybe even less than that. That's what happens. Mission complete. Dun, dun, dun! Well, that was the last of my voice. <laughs> Mission statistics. Difficult <clears throat> difficulty level medium. Wait, medium. That's weird. Okay, so you can select between easy, hard, and I don't remember what the last one was. So since hard is the middle one, it's called medium. Okay, that's weirdly inconsistent. But yeah, I guess it was medium. Two hours and 14 minutes. Damage dealt 407, received 81. Yep, yep, yep. I got 2400 out of 2900. Not bad. I killed five people. I would like that to be zero. I did that just because I was being incompetent and still feeling out the mechanics of the game. That should be a lot less, hopefully none, next game. Hey, at least no bodies were found by the AI. Maybe that's because I killed them all. Eight suspicious, nine searches, five sightings. Stealth score, 50. Is that percent? 50 percent? All alerts... Times severity. Wait, what? All number of alerts times. Se Whatever, I don't even really care. <laughs> okay. So, that was the end of Tears of St. Lucia, the first real mission that I played for the Dark Mod. Coming up next, what mission? I don't know, but look at them, there's a lot. Yeah. So, that has been the Dark Mod, which I am ridiculously impressed with and so far actually like more than all the original Three Thieves, which is surprising the hell out of me. I think... I think the only big thing that's going to be missing from the Dark Mod that I got from the original Thieves is a long story arc, because it's just going to be mini missions. So there isn't going to be any sort of a story arc. So that I'll miss, but I am so freaking impressed with this mod. It's not even funny. It's amazing. It is amazing. 
So yeah, links in the link will be in the description to where you can get it. It's totally free. It's a total conversion for Doom 3, so if you own Doom 3, then you're good to go. Yeah, once again, thank you for recommending this to me. Durver Erickson, hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I hope you have enjoyed my playthrough of Tears of St. Lucia for the Dark Mod, and I will be back soon with some other missions.